I should be careful. High security here. You don't talk? You shouldn't be here! Something's over there. You don't stand a chance. Look, there he is. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid, and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, oh, all right. I'll look into it.
Come on. Gods won't help you. This sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. You burned the whole village? Many knights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. But I don't know anything about the plague. <sighs> there is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination. Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. Let them go. What? You're no god. Priest came from the underworld, some man of the gods. Uh, the real gods sent you. Time to go. We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Forget about that. Just travel safely. You're a gift from the gods, Eagle Bearer. I hope they bless you. Bye, Kina. Be safe.
Ella. Easy now. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. It's not a war. It's a pissing match. You know just how to hurt me, Alexios. It's not that hard. Trust me. Think. What does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rack, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it will be hidden. Hello, I. I see you. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Am I to have that much protection? I have to stay out of view. What 
That's it! How many of his guards were there? Considering how many showed up here, yes. What did I say about being seen? At least you taught them a lesson. All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. 
Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. Abandoned house and the people.
Let's hope no one notices me here. Normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. There'll be more blood if you step closer. Perhaps. But then you won't hear my proposition, Mistyus. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man! You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Alexios... my name. I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. Ithaca's not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail.
Head into the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. All the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus's palace was here. Nothing to worry about.
for long. Yeah. Huh? What's that noise? Back to my post. What was it? I mean cloth. to get my attention? Thank you. Let's get out. You Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios? I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Got to be careful not to get spotted. This is 
is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. right now as if nothing can get in your way I don't usually like being called cute in time you'll learn to love all the things I have to tell you you seem so certain I've had lots of success in the past I'm sure you have so what do you think I think I was in a much poorer mood before now there's just so much I desire to be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And once it was over, it took him 10 years to get home. He wasted years of his life, all because the gods interfered. Stay home. Spend time with your family. Live your own life. But who will remember my story then? Would you rather be remembered? Or happy. Hmm. I'll have to give that some thought. Thank you. How may I help you? Come back any time. Ethrax, patax. Alexius, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. 
And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistyos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. I'm not an assassin. There's a first time for everything. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Phokis. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. I really need a boat, Telemenes. Everyone in Kafalonia needs a boat. Or passes on one. You've seen this shit hole. All my life. Even if I had a boat, who's going to row it? You! <laughs> I'd give my left grave to see that. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. 
Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. Let him go. No one. On this island, it's allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... But you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Go get it.
Rentilation and further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. I will. I can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life. It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return. So that's a yes. My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia!
Uh, I see you have good taste. Let me know if you need anything else. We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Phoebe, you're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now, and it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall First! You can't let this happen! Please! She'll do no harm! She'll help us! She will lead us! Silence! Nicolas! <laughs> <laughs> 
Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Where to now, Commander? Increase speed! Here we go! We are going as fast as we can, Commander! We can't go any faster! Let's go! Roars can be this up, Commander! We've got a fight coming! Get ready! There she is! Archer! Forward! Great! are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, 
You're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard, and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Thank you.